everyone, my name is Whitney. I am a registered nurse and today I'm going to tell you all about my initial career path, why I chose it, why I switched from it, and why I ended up in nursing. So without further ado, let's just get straight to it. So first things first, my original career path was actually physical therapy. So initially I had went to school and got my undergraduate degree, my bachelor's degree in sports medicine because I thought that was, you know, the perfect background degree and to meet my prerequisites before I went to a three-year doctorate of physical therapy program. That's how like basically all physical therapy programs are set up. So the undergraduate degree didn't really matter technically as long as I met the prerequisites. Anyways though, the reason I initially chose that uh, career field is because growing up, I always had a passion for so many things that involve science, health, and the human body. I also was like a really big like sports family. I have three older brothers. They all ran track, played football, and you know, naturally me, I also wanted to be super active as well. I ran track, I played softball, volleyball, flag football, all of those things I loved growing up and just watching football every Sunday morning with my brothers like that was just really really my thing so I initially actually thought I wanted to be an athletic trainer I wanted to be the one like running onto the field when a player got hurt patching them up taping them up and you know just being like that like a big time like pro athlete uh, like athletic trainer and that was actually my dream and I was really gonna go for it because I know I could do anything I put my mind to. I wanted to be an athletic trainer for the San Francisco 49ers because that is my team to the core. But then I realized as the older I got to, the more I started to learn like what my real priorities in life were. And for me, it's always been like a dream of mine to get married and have kids and just start a family and be a soccer mom and be at all the games and take my kids to things. And that's something I really, really wanted in life. So I realized, you know, if I'm trying to like grow and develop to be like some big time NFL like trainer, I feel like that would have to be like, be like the priority in my life. And I might miss out a lot of things on like for my kids and things like that. So I was like, you know, I think instead I would just rather have something way more consistent, more stable and more, you know, family friendly. So that's why I was like, you know, I feel like physical therapy could actually be a great alternative option. I can, you know, still work with the body, still rehabilitate athletes and of course more than just athletes, but you know, I have that option. So I was like, I think this is a great path. And actually the really fun fact about all of this is that before physical therapy, I actually did way, way back then have a thought of nursing. And because again, it really matched all the things I liked. So I was kind of fiddling with that idea I think maybe when I was like like 14 or something but it all came to a crashing halt one day when I was at church and you know I was my, my family was very involved in the church um my parents they used to do this thing called like couples ministry where they would like minister to the couples in the church and the point is though I often was the one who had to babysit the kids while they did all of that and during this time in particular there's this little baby that so first things first though i've actually always been a very very like nasty nasty person i hate gross stuff i hate body fluids i hate just like things not being where they're supposed to be like your poop should be in your butt your snot should be in your nose your saliva should be in your mouth like i don't like those things to be in other places and i hate seeing them in other places so i've always been like really icked out by anything like that and of course <laughs> One day, um, when I was babysitting for the for my fam for my family again for the couple's ministry, there just happened to be this kid that just threw up everywhere, just like gross volume of just vomit, just everywhere. So I got one of the like adults who actually happened to be a nurse, and she's like, "Okay, well, just clean it up. It's okay. The, the baby's okay. We're good. We'll just clean it up." And for me, it's like this huge, ginormous deal inside of my head. And literally, I'm just like gagging, like gagging. I can't even get my sentences out because I'm just like, there's... Like, literally, I cannot stop gagging because I was literally about to throw up myself. That's how grossed out I was. And she was like, okay, honey, you said you wanted to be a nurse. If this is how you are with like this type of thing, I don't know, you might want to reconsider. And literally, ever since that day, I was like... 
you're right you are absolutely right there is no way i can do this every day i have so many options for my future and this is not going to be one of them so from that day forward i literally just x'd out nursing as an option at all for me literally from that day so from then i was like okay well you know that just further confirmed my you know thought my pursuit of physical therapy so it's funny because now that i actually work in the hospital i do see a lot of physical therapists that do end up working with poop sometimes but well most of the time they're just like hey your patient pooped you know but anyways anyways but <laughs> the point is at that time i was like yeah i need a job that cannot have anything to do with bodily fluids blood is okay but everything else nah so that's why i was like physical therapy definitely it so anyways that's the backstory of why i chose physical therapy so anyways once i decided that that was what i wanted to do nothing could stop me like literally i made my plan i got a set in my head and i was like this is it this is what it's gonna be by the time i'm 25 i will be a physical therapist i'll have my doctor in physical therapy and i will be you know doing this thing but then though when i went to college i feel like i really had this like further discovery of myself and i really started to kind of like see myself and see the world and like just different ways i feel like before i just had it all figured out i just knew who i was what i wanted what i wanted to be all of those things and i thought it was just set in stone but the more i started to kind of like just like i guess discover myself in college the more i started to realize i don't have to be limited by like my own previous understanding or my own previous definition of myself so for instance like i always thought okay i am not a person who was organized i am not a person who um is a great communicator i am not a person who you know looks good every day i'm not a person who this 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 is that and i always just limited myself to those things and thought you know that's it that's who i am and i just limited myself right but the more i got to know myself and grow and just you know kind of self-discover the more i realized wow i can really be whoever i want to be do anything i want to do like i don't have to hold myself back to what i thought of myself you know See, so i just would start to expand my whole entire mind and be like you know what maybe i can be a person who shows up to things early maybe i can be a person who wakes up at 6 a.m maybe i can be a person who works out every day like there's all these different things that maybe i can or like why not me type of thing and one of those things though also was you know maybe i don't have to just be a physical therapist even though i was just like my plan forever it was set in stone it was solid i started to realize and understand it's okay to change my mind it's okay to explore other options and other things even though this has been like a like six seven eight year thing in the making and you know by the time i was a senior in college literally finishing up my sports medicine degree i started to be like well i started to really get into other things and like one thing i really was interested in was actually just like personal finance and financial freedom and like passive income and all those things and, like you know wealth and all that and i was like you know what maybe i can be a wealthy person maybe i can be someone who owns you know multiple properties maybe i can be someone who gets passive income and who can have the financial freedom to like go on vacation with my family when i want and take care of my kids and be at all the games and be this awesome soccer mom and drop everybody's kids off and pick them up from practice and like the things that i really would enjoy in life and that are meaningful to me in life maybe i can be someone who can enjoy that and have the freedom to do that you know through you know other ways of or other streams of income and all of that so with that i was really into like into like podcasts investing youtubes and audiobooks and all of those things and i was really like hyped up for this i was like this could be me why not me like i can do this right so i decided you know what physical therapy will always be there it will always be an option for me i'm about to finish up my degree i can always do that if i want but i don't have to do that right now what if I just started the whole investing thing? But I was like, but for me, I knew, okay, you gotta have some type of capital. Like you need money to be able to invest money. Like what can I do that can make a really good amount of money, but without a whole bunch of like upfront costs? Like, you know, I, cause physical therapy school, that was gonna run me like a hundred thousand dollars for three years. So that would've been a lot of like upfront investment. So one day I was just talking to my brother for some reason. And then, you know, he was mentioning to me what his wife does, which is she's an agnostic medical sonographer, which is basically people who use the ultrasound machine to like view images of the body parts and all of that. And I found out that they actually get a really good amount of money, but they only require 
a certificate from a like community college, like a junior college. And I was like, wow, that sounds like a great career field for a low amount of money. And I decided, you know what? Maybe I could just go ahead and do that. So I literally started going around looking at all these different programs and um, applying actually and mapping out where I was going to go and what my plan was going to be. I was like, okay, it'll be like two years. I could do that and start making money and be an investor. And I was so going to hold on this that I even started to like go to like different real estate meetings and uh, events and all of those type of things. I even took a real estate class. And then I even actually met this guy who I ended up actually working for. Um, a guy that was into like the real estate thing and investing properties and like, you know, buying properties and renting them out and flipping them and all those types of things. And I was doing data entry for him. And I was like, wow, really like able to kind of like, get a glimpse of what this life is like. And one thing that really opened my eyes to that whole entire experience is just how much like finesse and like grind that has to go into it. Right. Like, you know, I started at one point just like doing all the data entry. Then at another point, he was, like, having me do, like, the cold calls and stuff like that. Like, hi, I noticed your property, such, 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 such. And then I was like, you know, some of this is kind of uncomfortable for me. Like, not like that, you know, I can't get through something uncomfortable, but just, like, that constant grind, that hustle, that hustle, that hustle. I'm like, you know, it, it's kind of easier to just have a 9 to 5, for real. So, that kind of, like, grind and hustle and, like, the idea of, like, kind of constantly have to have that to, like, really, like build ground and be successful which is great for some people like for people who are go-getters that's awesome and for me I know I can be a person to go get it but I also like know myself I know sometimes I kind of like just the security of being able to go to work and get a guaranteed check for the work that I do you know you could hustle and grind for 10 hours and come up with nothing but that's all a part of the, that's all a part of just the the risk and benefit though but for me I realized you know what before I jump into something like this, I know I want to at least have something secure and stable that I can always, always, always fall back on. And then when I really thought about it, and I realized, okay, if I'm going for sonography, you know, that's something I can always fall back on. But I was like, wait a second. I would absolutely hate being a sonographer. That is absolutely not what I would want to do at all for a living. Scanning people and then interpreting the in images, like sending it to the doctors. Like, I think it's a great dope field, if that's like your thing. But for me, I was like, nah, I can't be looking at like black and white images all day. That's just, that's not my thing. And I would actually hate that. So when I realized that, I was like, okay, we got to X that one out. And let's go ahead and decide on something like that would actually make me happy to do it every day in life, at least, you know, because eventually I still want to be able to be an investor and like, you know, passive income and all of that. But I was like, you know, the money that I make to fund those type of ventures, I kind of want it to be money that is meaningful to me and like a job that I enjoy and I'm happy to be at or happy to go to every day. You know what I mean? So that's when I was like, okay, let's just, let's rethink this whole thing, right? And this is all now like the summer after I graduated college. Luckily for me, it was still early, early, early in that process, like maybe like May of 2019. Anyways though, so the funny thing is, I remember a while back before that, while I was still in college, a friend of mine, his mom, was talking to me about accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing programs, ABSN programs. And I was like, oh, okay, like that sounds pretty cool. She was like, yeah, all you have to do is just have a bachelor's degree, which you're gonna have, and you can go ahead and go to these programs, accelerated programs, and then you could get your bachelor's degree in nursing now. You could go ahead and you could be a nurse. And I was like, oh, like that sounds really dope. She's like, cause she was a nurse herself. So she was just telling me about these programs. And I was like, wow, that I'll look into it. Like it sounds interesting. I, mean, I don't see myself being a nurse, but yeah, cause again, way, way, way back then, I just exited out from my mind completely. So I was like, okay. So I, you know, went on some of the websites and checked it out. And you know how some of the websites have like the leave your name number here for more information. I was like, oh, sure, whatever. I'll, I'll read a read a flyer or whatever, right? Well, during that summer, I get this random call out of nowhere, like, hey, this is so-and-so from such and such and such in college, and I was calling for Whitney Irby, and I was like, yeah, this is her. She was just like, yeah, so I'm calling from such and such nursing program, I'm one of the recruiters for the program, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about our program, and this is this, and that, so this is how you could do it, we had this and that and that, and she was just asking me questions like, so, why are you interested in being a nurse? And I was like well like technically i was like ah, honestly this is something i filled out a while ago but her question like got me thinking what is it that you would like to be about a nurse 
And I started like feeling like, you know, I love how it works with, you know, it's very people oriented. I like how it has a lot to do with science. I get to know about the human body. I get to know about like medicine and how it works and affect our bodies. I like, and I just started going on this whole list of things. It's like what I would really love about nursing. I was like, I love the schedules. I love the versatility. I love how, you know, you could not only be like a med surge nurse, but you could do labor and delivery. You could work in the ICU. You could work in the doctor's office. You could work in a hospital. And like, you know, there's all these things. I like the idea of some places you could work three 12 hour shifts a week and think about all the freedom you would have in your life just having four days off every week. And like literally all these things, just like naming and naming and naming. It's just like, okay, well, like, you know, what's keeping you from going into nursing? Like what's stopping you? And I was like, well, you know, after naming all the whole list of things I would love about nursing, I was like, well, um, actually, I just always thought it was pretty gross. <laughs> like, I just hated the idea of having to deal with, you know, pee and poop and body fluids. But, I mean, now that I think about it, after naming all those other things, that kind of sounds like something I could get over. And again, remember, I had went through this whole rediscovery of myself before I would limit myself to the definition of someone who can't handle bodily fluids i can't i can't that's me but now that i'm kind of got to this like self-discovery period i realized i'm a person who can deal with body fluids i'm a person who can get over that i'm a person who can you know take these things on and by having that kind of like new like confidence in myself and new like openness to try new things or be different new versions of myself i really kind of was like yeah well now that i think about it this would actually be a great, this would be a perfect feel for me. Yeah, you know what? I actually am very interested in being a nurse. And she was like, okay, well, let's see, like, how could you do it? So let's see how we could get you into being a nurse. And she's like, well, this is our program. This is how it works. You said you have a bachelor's degree. You said you did sports medicine. So a lot of your classes align. Let's look at your transcripts and see, you know, what classes you're missing and what you need to take to, you know, join our program. And I was like, okay. And then it's just like, okay, so you need this class, this class, and this class. And I was like, oh, really? Just just those three classes? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, well, dang, it'll probably take me like another semester. I might have to sign up for like a class somewhere. And she's like, actually, you could just go online. We have these online, you know, community college classes that are self-paced that you could just earn your prerequisites at your own time. Just pay this little fee or whatever, whatever. And then, you know, there's a lot of teachers on there that, you know, grade your work and all that, yada, yada, yada. And you could get it done before, by the end of the semester and start in fall. I was like... So like once I got that in my mind, I was like gung ho on nursing. I was on YouTube. I searched up and down like every single thing I could find about nursing. I found it. I was like, what I love about nursing? What I hate about nursing? Nursing this, this, nursing that, nursing that, nursing that. Like I was literally like trying to get all this inside of me to figure out like what is this field all about? And like you know, can I see myself here? What will be like the pros of it? What will be the cons? Like I was like just immersing myself into all this nursing content and then finally I was like dang you know I think this is really really what I want to do so I totally went for it I signed up for the classes for the online program basically after doing all of this research up and down top and bottom left and right it's all over the internet I decided like wow yeah this is it this is what I'm about to do this is what I'm about to be like I'm gonna be a nurse like right here right now let's get to it how am I gonna do it and so it actually wasn't um, the nursing program that called me that I went with. So I ended up going with a different program uh, that was a little bit more affordable because clearly if they had all this time to like make these calls and like talk me into nursing, clearly they got a lot of money to be working with. So uh, yeah, that program was like $90,000 actually. So <laughs> of course I did some more research and found a program that really was like more for me and my price range, which was still crazy, but more my price range. So yeah, that's how I ended up actually getting to nursing. And every single day, I just thank God so much for that call because it's really got the ball rolling and got me into this whole new career field that's like, that I feel like is really perfect for my life. So yeah, there we have it. That's it. That is my story of how I went from sports medicine and physical therapy to nursing. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to hear more, I make a new video every single week. So be sure to subscribe and give my video a like just so other people can see it as well. And thanks again so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>